There's a lot of questions in this world that I like to try and answer myself. Like, why do people eat fucking gold? Like, that, I don't understand it. Like, if you just look up, is gold healthy for you? Like, there are different places that just shove gold flakes in their food, and I just, I just don't understand it. Anyway, the point of this video is to talk to you about Arista and how I feel about people playing her in rank so quickly. Don't just stop everybody just nobody really understands how she works yet nobody really understands what to do even if you say that yes i'm a arisa god your team doesn't know how to play with you so picking someone that nobody knows how to play with or around yet is a little detrimental to the team i feel especially especially if you're going into a ranked game and you yourself don't even know how to play arisa and the problem with that is that a lot of the people that you usually see are just people on their smurfs they're like i want to play arisa and ranked and you know not really give too much a shit because, you know, it's not my primary account. I don't give a fuck if I drop a few couple hundred SR just to show off this new hero or try this new hero out in a ranked environment where people are actually trying. Or not the PTR where everything's just completely ridiculous. It's just, I'm tired of seeing Orisa in ranked games when people just don't know how to play her yet. I feel like taking Orisa, like maybe to the practice range or in a quick play or something would be way better than actually taking Orisa into ranked. And that's why I feel some of my friends that do a lot of streaming have just taken a slight break in playing competitive mode since that the, the Orisas are run, running quite rampant at the moment. And especially the Orisa only Smurfs that are just playing Orisa in ranked for whatever reason it's just like come on guys come on <laughs> please just don't but oh my god i think i think the last game i played we had we had a really great team comp we had orisa and genji widowmaker hanzo on defense and i was the solo healer anna and oh man it felt great it, it we actually rolled them on attack but when it came to the defense we kind of couldn't hold them too long and they kind of won the game on us but you know stuff like that happens people like to you know make really good team comps and ranked in a you know just try to play their best to the best of their ability and i i hate it <laughs> i, I want i really hate it it's just so stupid but i think that's my opinion for arissa right now it's not so much that she's a bad hero she could be a hidden gem she could be one of the best heroes in the entirety of this game but right now i don't see it i mean i felt i I'm, honestly i felt that way about genji I felt like Anna needed to have a little bit of things changed to her when she was first coming out with her aiming. And, you know, maybe I thought Zenyatta needed a little bit more HP. But Orisa, I don't even know what she needs for me to feel like she's more competent. They nerfed her damage in the PTR. They nerfed oh, apparently a lot of things about her in the PTR. But me personally, I just... I don't know her enough. Like, even playing her in the PTR, playing her in quick play, playing her in a ranked environment right now with actual competent teams or people around your skill level of competency, trying to set up plays and make things happen. Doing that with Orisa seems a little difficult to the point where it's like, what exactly am I supposed to do with this hero? Especially if I don't know what to do yet. Like, you know, pulling someone off of the cliff side would be an interesting play from Orisa. Dispositioning a Reinhardt would be an interesting play from Orisa. Of course, but in which, I guess, specific scenarios would these be super beneficial? Like Route 66, pulling people off at the top of the garage around the first push on attack. I can definitely see it. Putting Orisa into ranked games right now, I'm not, I'm not feeling it just yet. Not just yet. I wanna, I wanna see it happen. I love seeing new heroes being played. I especially wanted to see Sombra, but it's kind of like the Sombra effect. At the same time, since that people didn't really know how to play Sombra effectively just yet to create an opening for either offensive or defensive, people just didn't want you to play Sombra, and everybody be like, "Are we throwing? Like, <laughs> is this a joke? Are we throwing?" Now it's got that effect for the Orisa, the Sombra effect for Orisa, where people are just like, <laughs> "Whoa, I, I see that Orisa pick." I saw I might as well go Hanzo because we ain't winning this shit, baby. And it's just like immediately people just think that throw is going to happen. So I want to hear your opinion. Do you think Orisa on your team is an immediate throw? Are you one of those God Legend Golden Gym, just absolute top 500 potential Orisa mains that are coming out? Who knows? Either way, I want to hear your opinion in the comment below. And of course, I am working on a new kind of montage, I think. Hopefully, it'll be entertaining for you guys and i'll be hopefully posting that next week but anyway i'll see you guys later i hope you all have a great weekend and of course i'll see you in the next video all right peace hey,